So I thought I'd take a second and show how this resaw jig I have uh, hobbled together from various different plans I found here and there and added my own twist to it. Uh, this is to, to basically saw slabs uh, from, from a piece, from a log or from whatever. And so what it is, is the log sets, as you can see, on like this. And it's going to bottom out on, on one end down here. And um, then here is an adjustment for it. And this is just a pipe clamp that I've, that I've put on. You can see I've capped off the pipe clamp. And you can see a screw. I learned that it's nice to kind of drive a screw in to the end grain and then tighten it. And that keeps it from rotating on me a little bit. And then here, it, these are, uh, this slides. So these, these pan head bolts that you can see up in here, if I can turn this, um, then come around to the side. So this slides up and down based on these. So you loosen these and raise this whole carriage up and down, as well as slide this this direction. So in addition to having this as an adjustment, I have this an adjustment to go back or go forward almost all the way to the other slot. And uh, I make my own T-nuts or whatever you want to call them. I, I'm too cheap to buy my own. This is literally just a block of wood that I cut out on the bandsaw or uh, miter saw. I drill a hole that's slightly smaller than the size of a nut, and I just drive the nut in. I draw, drill, drill the uh, center hole first, by the way, uh, all the way through, and then, then drill the bigger hole. I don't even know what size this is. <laughs> I forget every time I do them. I just literally dry, uh, set the uh, drill up against the nut and see which nut is smaller than the nut and drive it in there. And uh, then it's your own T-nut, basically. And so I got this, and in addition to that, there is a miter slot. And this miter slot right here is going to go in the miter slot on the bandsaw. Back here, there are two more adjustments, T-nut and a T-nut. And then at the bottom, you'll notice two miter slots as well. And this was literally just kind of something I threw together pretty simply. Don't mind my... Uh, messy jig here with this accident because it really doesn't matter on the router table where it moved on me but um, this is just a miter slot to, so that it slides back and forth on it and so there you basically have it I've got some markings on each end of inches so this is two inches from the blade four um, two inches three four five six and on back from the blade so I know how much I'm moving on each side that's there and so that's the basics of it and I'm getting ready to try to give this piece of burl a cut here I might add by the way this is made from one one um, let me see two by eight piece of plywood if I recall um, that I, yeah I, I think it's a two by eight piece of plywood that a three-quarter inch and, and that's all that this is made from besides the various blocks and screws and, and things like that and I might have had a few extra but I don't think so I have a two by four piece so it doesn't take a lot to build one of these uh, yeah two by eight it's four foot long and um, this is an odd one a burl like this is just a shot in the dark on how to cut and so actually I'm I'm gonna try to cut because I want to I want to try to cut this face off and um, and keep it as one piece for for something who knows what so here here we go
there you go. That's the first slice off of that chunk of burl and managed to save the eye or the face on it. Enjoy.